Hello again. Um, I have in my previous videos uh, discussed how my queen has uh, escaped from my brood box uh, on the bottom. I only have one brood box down the bottom, queen excluder, and then run uh, supers uh, above it for honey. But somehow she managed to escape during uh, my inspection into the upper chambers. So about a month later I found um, of course the empty frame so in the brood box and uh, this uh, these frames were up in the top box in the honey frame. Uh, sorry in the honey brood, uh, honey uh, super box. So as you can see there were predominantly drone cells. You can even see some of the drones here now. Uh, and here's actually a good place to examine the difference between the drone and the bee. So this is a bee, honey bee. Smaller eyes and a smaller body, more pointy, as opposed to the drone who is a much larger bee, very large eyes and uh, just overall a larger bee. The drones are of course uh, stingless, do not sting. Uh, they're, they're purely to mate with the queen. There's uh, another one just hatching, oh, another two hatching out now. So I had to remove these frames because I had to migrate uh, all of the frames that had um, the um, honey bee frames, honey bee brood, back down to the bottom box, into the brood box and uh, I uh, just removed these drone cones basically. So it's, it's an interesting uh, interesting thing because, uh, oh, here we go, you can also see on a closer inspection you can see the, this is what you're looking for with uh, when you're inspecting the bee hives, you, this is how you tell that you have a laying queen. You can see these, I hope this will zoom in, bear with me, apologies for the, there we go, that's what you're looking for, is the, the larvae. Now realistically, I'm not looking just for the larvae, uh, ideally you'd be looking for the eggs. And uh, so this queen bee was laying happily up in the top chamber, however, you know, it's uh, it's not an ideal scenario because most of these uh, drone these cells are much larger, so they're pretty much all drone cells, which of course is the problem in a beehive. So, I moved all of these bees, all of these frames out, migrated the queen back down to the brood box, found her, moved her, and now she's back where she's supposed to be, and uh, all the female worker brood. I moved down as well. So as you can see, typical formation. You can see the ring of honey into the food stores. Uh, this would normally be uh, this would normally be pollen, but as this was full of honey uh, in the top chamber, you don't see any of the pollen. Basically they had to clearly migrate all of this honey out to make room for the new uh, new hatching and laying area for the queen to make it the brood, new brood nest, which she has done. She is a very good laying queen, quality queen. I'm very happy with her, had her for two years. But these, uh, these just had to go, so I did move them and now uh, uh, just put some empty honey frame, honey boxes up the top and hope for the best. I will update you on the progress in my future videos. In the meantime, hope you're enjoying them. I invite you to um, subscribe if you like them, share them, and uh, hopefully we can produce more. We appreciate your help. Bye.